Hi, I'm T. Cooper. I'm a New York City makeup artist, hairstylist, and co-founder of beauty and grooming company, Metrolook. The question that I was recently asked was how to do a fishbone braid starting from the top of your head. The correct term for this braid is fishtail braid, but I know what you meant. So this is a kind of a cool question because usually fishtail braids are done they make a ponytail or something, or they'll do them from here down, or they'll just take a section of hair. You rarely see them from all the way at the top going down, which is a really cool detail if you want to wear your hair loose and add some kind of texture to it, or if you want to do an updo and you just want to have something going on in there. So I'm going to show you how to do it. For this look, only thing you're going to need really is a clear elastic and a comb will be optional if you want to comb through your hair just to get the tangles out, which is pretty smart. So you just pretty much section out whatever hair you want. I'm going to do this hair right at the side and I'm going to turn it to the side just a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing. Comb through the hair. Now a fishtail braid is done with two sections of hair. Her hair is kind of thin, so I'm going to take a large section so it'll look a little bit fatter. So you split the hair into two sections like so, and then you incorporate small sections from each side and you bring them over. So I like to do that with my index finger, but I've seen people do it other ways. Whatever works best for you is how you do it. The smaller the sections you take from the side, the more intricate the braid gets, but you don't have to take small sides. You can take bigger chunks and it'll still look good. So you just keep going, and now you're starting to see that fishtail shape come into form. And what I like about this braid a lot is even if you have dark hair, you can still see the detail in it. A lot of styles, you have to have like light hair, like blonde or red hair in order to see all the detail. But fishtail braids, you can have the blackest of black hair and you can still see it's really cool. And just continue like so, a little bit from each side or a lot from each side if you want it. That'll make a chunkier braid if you take bigger check sections from each side. But if you want it to look like that, by all means, go for it. I like to have this a little bit more detailed, which is really weird that I work on all this detail when I pull it apart anyway when I'm done with mine because I like them messy, but I digress. We're almost there. And not too much tension on the braid. You don't want it too tight. You want it loose, but not too, too loose, like it's about to fall apart. But you want it as to where like this, where it's bendable. If it's too tight, it's not really bendable. It just sticks out, which is not cute at all. Okay, and I'm going to stop here. So I'm gonna use a clear elastic to section this off, but if you wanted to, you could take some hairspray and a fine tooth comb and back comb it and the braid wouldn't go anywhere. So what I like to do is just kind of loosen it up a little bit after I do them, just to make the braid look a little bit fatter. Also gives the illusion like you have more hair too. And then sometimes I spray it just to keep it in place. And then you're done. I'm T. Cooper, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.